Geoengineering sounds like science fiction. This story is absolute bonkers. The wacky, crazy world of net zero. This is the makings of a sci-fi dystopian novel. So the government is set to approve experiments to dim sunlight. Chemical trails in the air. It's to Excuse combat me? climate change. Uh, 50 million quid of funding. Why would anyone ever want to block out the sun deliberately? Welcome back to another video. And as you can guess, the studio still isn't finished, so we're back on the field. Why are we on this tree? Not sure, thought it would be artistic. If you agree, leave a comment below. Anyway, today's video is relevant to being outside because it's all to do with the sun. Now, recently, we've been getting loads of comments about the government planning to turn the sun off and how that's going to affect people with solar panels. Ha, you're going to go bust. What does this mean for you? So what we thought we'd do is give you all the answers to that question in this video. We're going to run you through. Is the government going to turn off the sun? And if so, how are they going to do it? Well, this, oh Christ. <laughs> It's all to do with the government's initiative to reduce global warming temperatures. Now, as we know, the government has lots of spare cash at the moment. What they've decided to do with some of that spare cash is give 50 million pounds to a government-backed institute called ARIA, or AREA, which stands for Advanced Research and Invention Agency. Now, what ARIA, ARIA are trying to do is find out ways to reduce radiation from the sun to help cool the planet. And this was all originally conceived after an event in 1991. Now this event wasn't the collapse of the USSR or it wasn't the end of apartheid in South Africa. It was the eruption of Mount Pinatobo. Now when this happened, it released around 20 tons of sulfur dioxide into the atmosphere. Once this was released into the atmosphere, it reacted with moisture in the clouds. Once it was in the clouds, it produced sulfuric acid. Now what this did was create an aerosol. And this aerosol was dispensed around the atmosphere. And as the sun from above hit this layer of sulfuric acid, it bounced some back towards the sun. It sent some around the earth, but it did still let some through. Now, as a result of this, less radiation hit Earth's surface. And as a result of that, temperatures were lower. And this is massive given the global effort to reduce Earth's rising temperatures. This mountain was able to reduce them over a two year period by half a degree. And I think what scientists are thinking now is how can we replicate that? How can we repeat history and reduce temperatures and can we do it safely? Now, how is the Advanced Research Invention Agency gonna achieve this? It's pretty scary. Now, this is crazy. To fully embrace this, you're gonna to have to put your tinfoil hats on, get your bug out, bags out, because this stuff is mental. Now, they've got four plans. The first one is stratospheric aerosol injection. They're planning on flying planes up into the upper atmosphere to release particles to mimic the effects of volcanic cooling. The second one, marine cloud brightening. Now again, using planes to inject clouds with salt water from the sea to enhance the brightness of the cloud to fire it back up at the sky. Cirrus cloud thinning. This is essentially thinning out clouds in the very upper atmosphere to allow more heat to radiate back out towards the sun. And finally, Arctic ice thickening. The process of spraying the current icebergs with more seawater to improve or increase their thickness, giving them more reflectivity, sending more radiation back up to the atmosphere through those thin clouds. Now to explain this, I'm gonna come out of this field and take this hat off because I'm gonna get arrested. I'm gonna take you through each of these four processes to see what I think. So let's start with SIA, stratospheric aerosol injection. Now, this is a process using aeroplanes or balloons or drones between 10 and 50 kilometers into the Earth's atmosphere. Once they're up there, they'll then release some chemicals in canisters and they've got three choices. They have sulfur dioxide. This is what was erupted during that 1991 volcano but they also have calcium carbonate or they have titanium dioxide. Now, all three chemicals roughly achieve the same thing. They form a layer. 
This layer has reflective qualities and this layer is designed to bounce the sun back. All of these schemes are about bouncing radiation back up towards the sun to allow that process to happen. So that brings us on to the next one. I think they are running a test right now because the sun has just gone in. No, it's a cloud. Anyway, marine cloud brightening. This is a process where we take salt water from the ocean and we inject it into lower clouds. Now the salt in this water causes cloud nucleation and what this does is reduce the particle size, the cloud becomes more reflective and again we bounce more radiation back towards the sun. Now this one is a bit easier to achieve because it's lower down. You can actually do this from ships or regular drones because the clouds are much lower. It's not the SIA system that's 10 to 50 kilometers up in the air. This is much lower, much more achievable. Now, salt uses don't end there. This is a four pronged assault. What we can do with sea salt is inject it into the very upper atmosphere in something called cirrus cloud thinning. Now, what sea salt does when it's injected into this high level atmosphere is promote the creation of ice crystals. These ice crystals contain more cloud, more density. They drop because they're heavier. That thins the cloud. And what that does is allow all that reflection to bounce straight back up to the sun. So we need to thin it at the top, like the top of my head, to allow it all to radiate back out towards the sun. And the final part of this puzzle is thickening the ice caps. We take seawater, we spray it all over the current ice caps to try and make them thicker, try and improve or increase their mass to increase their reflectivity. Now what that's gonna do, again, sun hits it and we say, no, go away, go back up through that nice thin cloud, leave our planet alone. So has any of this actually happened? Yes, it has. The government will not disclose where in the UK they have ran tests. What they have confirmed is tests have taken place. Like I said, they've given 50 million pounds as an initial lump of sum to ERA to run this program. And what they're looking to do is if they can prove success is expand it, not only domestically, but globally. And there's some key international players back in this, Bill Gates being one of them. Now he's quite a controversial character and to have him mess around or feel like he's educated enough to mess around with Earth's ecosystem is pretty scary. And on that point, I am not a backer of this scheme. I am just reporting what I've been reading for the last three or four weeks because these comments started appearing and it was like, hey, this is really scary. Is it actually true? Well, this isn't the first time that governments across the world have messed around with the ecosystem. Look at cloud seeding. So this is very popular in the Emirates where they don't have a lot of rain. And what they do is they inject clouds, I think it's with nitrous dioxide, to promote the growth of vapor. That vapor turns into a cumulus cloud and that cumulus cloud rains on the ground because they need to harvest more food, they need more water to grow things and they're trying to artificially alter the climate of the world. And what's even worse is we are paying for this because that 50 million pounds that the government has given to ERA is not magic money, that is tax revenue that none of us have voted for this. None of us have said, hey, this is a good idea. Let's mess around with the weather system. We'll back you on this. They've just took the money, give it to them. No official reporting, really. Anyone who has brought it up has been labeled a bit of a nutcase, a basket case, a conspiracy theorist. But actually, if you do a bit of digging, as I did on this subject, there are lots of reports of how this is being done. And at first, when I read them, I thought, nah, this can't be real. But as you get into it, you do start to learn this is actually happening. The fact they won't even release where they're spraying this stuff over the UK is terrifying in itself, above the fact they're even doing it in the first place. Now, geo weather system aside, this is also another problem for Heatable because originally we started a boiler business and we were very successful at that. And then the government came along and tried to ban boilers. So we thought, right, we'll go green. Let's do some renewables. We launch a solar business and they try to turn the sun off. So we do need ideas around what to do next. 
ideally the government can't interfere with it we just want to be left alone so there we have it another video a bit off topic again we are trying to get back to normal service usually we're just talking about solar panels we're talking about boilers we're talking about batteries but we keep getting all these comments and all these questions about these mental topics and it got us thinking and it got us looking and we thought let's make some content on them anyway do let us know are you enjoying this style of content obviously we'd like to get back to a studio we're probably pushing the limits of using this field that's about four weeks away but if you've got any ideas you want to see content on a particular subject matter then drop a comment below obviously subscribe to the channel because if you ask and you don't subscribe you'll miss the video and give it a like if you've enjoyed it and if you need a boiler go to heatable.co.uk if you need a solar system go there too and if you need a battery or an ev charger we can help you with that also I think you could do the point a bit better. Do you want me to, do you want me to sculpt it for you? This is so stupid. That's fine. You feel like a really shit swim cap. Don't play with my nodule, that. How is that? <laughs> 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 I got an after attack.